Hi, it's DeWire. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is September the 23rd, 2020. Let's talk week three of the NFL. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's roll out some picks. I like the Seattle Seahawks laying five over the Dallas Cowboys. Action Network has stated here online on their site that 90% of the betting money, 90% is on the Dallas Cowboys. Folks, the casino wins long term. You understand that. Casinos are in the business of making money. In my opinion, these are the kind of games that they make money on. Russell Wilson is having a magnificent year again. Football Outsiders, another website, has Seattle so far this year as the second rated offense. Folks, one of the untold stories of Week 2's games was the fact that Seattle put up points against an excellent New England Patriot defense. Right, Russell Wilson hit several different people for touchdowns last week. Let's just say Seattle is humming. Also, of course, Seattle played at home last week. They've been able to sleep in their own beds. They haven't had to travel interstate like the Dallas Cowboys will have to for this game in Seattle. Let me also say, too, <clears throat> that there's more continuity with the Seahawks. Pete Carroll has been there for years with Russell Wilson. Now, you saw what a lack of continuity can do to the Cowboys last week, right? You had turnovers. You had very weird play calls, fake punts that did not work, etc., that led to the Cowboys falling behind. Now, they were able to come back. That's what playing against Dan Quinn does for you, right? They were able to come back in that game. But it was an emotional game. I believe they're going to be flat. I believe there's more unreliability in that Mike McCarthy-Cowboy relationship than there is in the Pete Carroll-Seattle relationship, right? Carroll and Seattle have been together for years. McCarthy narrowly dodged. Let's face it, it's an onside kick away from a disaster. He narrowly dodged. Very rough press conference where people were going to be talking about a home loss involving botched fake punts, etc. I like Seattle laying five at home against the Dallas Cowboys. In the Colt Jet game, I like the under 44 points. You know, it's an unsaid story right now, but the Colts are playing great defense. Folks, this is not the Andrew Luck Colts, right? This team, they have a rookie out of Wisconsin. He is magnificent, the running back, right? They have a effective run game. Keep in mind, you had one back star week one. Now you have this rookie star week two. They have two backs, running the football, takes time off the clock, leads to lower scoring games. Both teams are struggling on offense. The Jets are having offensive line trouble. I believe defense rules the day in this Colts-Jet game. I like the under 44 points. Finally, I like the Pittsburgh Steelers laying four points against the Houston Texans. Folks, this is not the Texan team that you remember from last year's playoffs. They're badly missing DeAndre Hopkins. Badly. Right? They're having a hard time finding a number one receiver. More importantly, Houston is having major defensive problems. Major. And just keep in mind, week one, the Steelers were without James Conner, their running back, so they had the backup, Benny Snell, run the football, 
The Steeler offense is clicking so well right now that Benny Snell, week one, rushed for over 100 yards. Of course, this last week, James Conner steps in. And he was very successful running the football. Of course, you have Big Ben picking up where he left off two years ago. You might remember he got hurt last year for most of the year. But the year before that, he passed for more than 5,000 yards. Folks, he's been throwing a lot of touchdowns. Look at his stats. It's a bit astonishing. Given the Steeler defense, which is playing great football right now. I mean, great football. It's astonishing that you only have to lay four points in this game. What has Houston done? that leads anyone to believe they're going to come within four points of the Pittsburgh Steelers. To sum up, I like Seattle laying five points over the Dallas Cowboys. I like the under 44 in the Colt Jet game. And I like the Steelers laying four points against the Houston Texans. I know J.J. Watt Rex quarterbacks, right, will blow up offensive uh, playbooks. What I like, though, is even with J.J. Watt out there, I like the fact that Ben is an experienced Super Bowl winning quarterback, future Hall of Famer. In other words, if there's a quarterback in the pocket who is going to give me any kind of reassurance, went up against, you know, tough future Hall of Fame pass rushers. It's a vet like Ben. Ben still has arm strength. He doesn't look like Drew Brees. That's how I see it for week three of the NFL. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.